a long, long time ago, before writing, cities, or countries, there may have been a huge, deadly war. This war didn't happen in modern history. It happened in prehistoric times, maybe over 10,000 years ago, or even more. According to some scientists and researchers, there was a time when almost 90% of humans were wiped out. Some say it might have been because of a massive prehistoric war. Back then, people lived in small tribes. But over time, they started fighting over land, food, and water. These fights may have turned into something much bigger, a war between different human groups. Some people believe this war used primitive weapons like stones, spears, and clubs. But it was still very deadly because the fighting lasted for years. Many entire tribes disappeared. Other researchers think natural disasters, like volcanoes or climate change, may have happened around the same time, making the war even worse. People had to fight over fewer resources, and that made the war more violent. Scientists have found some evidence in DNA. It shows that long ago, the human population suddenly dropped to a very small number. This means that only about 10% of people survived, and the rest were either killed or died in harsh conditions. Also, some ancient human skeletons show signs of trauma, broken bones and head injuries, which could be from fighting. Even though this could have been one of the deadliest events in human history, there's still very little we know about it. Here's why. This happened thousands of years before writing was invented. The first written language appeared around 5,000 years ago, but this war may have happened 10,000 to 20,000 years ago, or even earlier. Back then, people didn't write books, letters, or messages. So, no records, no stories passed down on paper, no maps of battles. Everything was passed down by word of mouth, and those stories were lost over time. Unlike stone cities like ancient Egypt or Greece, these early people lived in simple shelters made of wood, mud, animal bones, grass. These things don't last long. Over thousands of years, they rot, break down, disappear into the earth. That means most of their homes, tools, and weapons are gone now. Modern scientists study ancient bones and DNA to learn what happened. Skeletons with smashed skulls or broken arms show signs of violence. DNA shows that most humans died off at one point in history, but it's like having only a few puzzle pieces and trying to guess the whole picture. We're missing so much, so the full story is hard to put together. Things like floods, ice ages, volcanoes, earthquakes may have wiped away entire villages, destroyed bodies, and buried weapons deep underground. Some battlefields may now be at the bottom of oceans, covered by forests, hidden under deserts. We might never find the places where the war actually happened. This forgotten war might not have been one big battle like we imagine today. It could have been a long, slow period of fighting. Many small wars between tribes spread out over thousands of years. So, the evidence is scattered all over the world in different places and timelines. That makes it harder to connect the dots. The idea that there was a prehistoric war so deadly it wiped out 90% of humans is terrifying. And yet, it's almost completely unknown to most people. Why? Because it happened so long ago that time itself erased the memory. We have no books from that time, no carvings, no records, People back then didn't write. They couldn't build strong cities or temples. Everything they made was with wood, bones, stones, and mud, materials that disappear over thousands of years. If they told stories about what happened, those stories died with them. The voices of an entire generation, possibly many generations, are now silent. All we have today are clues hidden in the earth. Broken bones with signs of violence, 
DNA evidence that shows a sudden drop in the human population. Scattered ancient tools and weapons, burial sites with signs of war, fear, and chaos. But these clues are like whispers in the wind. They don't tell the full story. They hint at a world where humans, still new to life on Earth, were already fighting for survival. Not just against nature, but against each other. And while we don't know exactly what started the war, we can imagine. A warming climate that melted glaciers, changed the land, and dried up rivers. Tribes moving into the same areas, competing for the same food, water, and shelter. Early humans learning how to fight, how to take, how to kill. In time, what might have started as small fights between neighbors grew into something global, with wars spreading across continents. Thousands, maybe millions, died. The human population shrank so low that we almost disappeared forever. And yet, from the ashes of that forgotten time, some survived. A small group of humans, just a few thousand, found ways to keep going. Maybe they hid in mountains, near oceans, or deep forests. Maybe they avoided war altogether. These survivors became the ancestors of every person alive today. That's why scientists call this event a genetic bottleneck, because all the different tribes, families, and bloodlines were reduced to just a few. And those few are the roots of our family tree. So, why don't we know more about this prehistoric war? Because time has a way of burying the truth. The Earth reclaims its history through floods, fire, erosion, and silence. And humans forget what isn't written down. It's possible that even the survivors of this great war didn't understand what had happened. They may have told simple stories of bad times, great fires, or sky gods punishing the world, stories that slowly turned into myths and legends. But even though we don't have the full story, the evidence suggests something massive, dark, and deadly happened in our early past. And this forgotten war, lost to time, may have shaped who we are today. It may be the reason why we fear war, why we seek peace, and why we sometimes repeat the same mistakes. It's a reminder that we've almost destroyed ourselves before, and it could happen again. So, we study the past, even the parts with no names or dates, because hidden in those ancient ruins and bones might be the warning signs of our own future.